On today's episode, I am going to teach you how to make a sleeping bag for our little girl, Olivia, and her 18-inch doll. Her name is also Olivia, and I think you're really going to enjoy this project. Okay, now it's time to learn how to make the sleeping bag for the doll and for our little girl. But because the little girl one's so big, I'm gonna show you on the doll, but it's the exact same process. So this is what it, the finished one looks like. And I wanna show you that I used hair rubber bands in the seams to lock in the, um, the doll with some buttons here. That way she can get the doll in. And the big girl's done the same way. That's why there's no zippers, no Velcro or anything like that. So now I'm gonna show you how to put it together. Now you're gonna love this because this is super simple. It's just all one big, like a big sack, kind of almost a huge sleeping pillowcase. So what I used on this is I used um, flannel. I'll just unpin that corner. I used a really cute flannel. Please pre-shrink your flannel because it does like to shrink down. And I use a coordinating um, polar fleece with that too. So once you've cut your um, piece out and your piece is gonna cut 40 inches, by 13 and a half inches. So it's just a long skinny piece. Once you've done that, go ahead and pin all the way around the edge. And then this is my little trick. I was just talking to you earlier about the hair rubber bands. What I've done is I've actually put the hair rubber bands in the seam. So what I do is I just kind of pinch them up like this and open up my seam and put them down and then put a pin in to hold them in place. Now the measurements are from one end to here is five inches. This is gonna create the pillow. So you are gonna to wanna to mark with um, your pins to make these markings. From the five and a half inch, you're gonna go one and a half. You're gonna measure another one and a half, put another hair rubber band in, measure down another one and a half, add one more hair rubber band, and then put a pin here because this is where you're going to stop. So that's now we're gonna take it to the sewing machine and sew a quarter inch all the way around the sleeping bag. I've already done the sewing all the way from the edge, right from the start of that number of those five inch, all the way around the edge, back up, down, and just about a half an inch or maybe an inch down on this other side. We want to leave an opening because we're going to turn it right side out. Do clip your corners. It'll make it turn out much easier. And you can see those rubber bands are really nice and secure in the seam. And just because you're doing it with a little girl, you may want to just back stitch a little bit over the rubber band so they don't pull out. Now I'm going to have Olivia give me some help here. She's going to reach inside. There we go. And I'm going to keep going all the way down and you're going to reach for this corner. And this is really fun because you can have your daughter help you do this or granddaughter. Okay, now hold that tight in your hand and let me just pull it. Stay like that, there you go. You're still holding it? Okay, now you start pulling. There you go. Oh, very good, all right. And look how fun that was. Now we've got it turned right side out. And you can help me straighten that out a little bit, Olivia. There we go. Pull up your corners. You get the idea here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to the iron and I'm gonna press this all the way around. I know pressing's kind of a pain, I've talked about that before, but seriously, I'm shortcut queen, but this is one shortcut you don't wanna do. You always wanna do your pressing. Now, as you can see, I've already done all the pressing. And remember where that five inches was? You wanna measure down all the way around the edge, measure down and sew straight across because now that's gonna create the pillow for the doll's um, head. And then once that, before you do any more sewing, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do our little appliques. Now you'll use our alphabet and you'll also use the um, little um, die cut uh, embroidery pieces here. So I'm going to just show you real quick. What I like to do is put, um, iron them on the back of heat and bond onto my fabrics that I'm going to use for the appliques and then go ahead and cut them out. That's a little, my little tip for you. It's much easier. Then place on your appliques where you want them on the sleeping bag, heat press them, and then I top stitch with a zigzag around the edges. And now we're gonna go ahead and Olivia is gonna start, yeah, we'll pull those pins out, and Olivia's gonna start stuffing while I tell you how to finish up the bag. 
Now, while she's finishing up the bag, I'm gonna bring this up. Now, we've already have all our appliques on the sleeping bag. We're gonna bring it all the way up, like so. And we're gonna pin from the sleeping bag edge right here all the way down. And you're gonna top stitch. So this is why this is super simple. There's not any like crazy, have to make all the ends match or anything. We're just gonna top stitch a quarter inch all the way down. You're gonna do the same thing. Now remember, we added that extra pin on this side by the little loops, and that's where you're gonna stop so the sleeping bag will open up like this. So I'm gonna bring out this one one more time. Olivia, you're doing an excellent job stuffing. And let's bring up the sleeping bag one more time to show you what we're talking about here is we have, so stop the stitching right here. You can see I stitched all the way straight down the edge, came over here, stitched right up to that pin mark. And then this way, it's easier for, to put the doll in. And then once the doll's in, those little rubber bands here again, the hair rubber bands close. Now, the little girl sleeping bag is done exactly the same way. It's just bigger. And you'll do large, you'll enlarge the, um, the applique bigger to obviously to do on the, the little girl's sleeping bag. So I really hope you enjoyed this project. Olivia and Olivia too. Thank you so much for doing this. Wasn't this a lot of fun? And Olivia can hardly wait to have a sleepover home with your doll. And what do we say? Thank you. We'll see ya.